Are you confused between an ETL tester and a data quality engineer? While both roles work with data and quality, they have slightly different responsibilities. In this video, I'll break down their key differences, skills required, and which one might be the right fit for you. All right, what does an ETL tester do? As you're already aware, ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. So ETL testers ensure data is correctly extracted from sources, transformed as expected, and loaded accurately into the data warehouse. They focus on validating data movement from source to target, checking transformation logic, ensuring no data loss or corruption, performing performance testing on ETL pipelines. Common skills that is required for ETL tester is SQL and programming languages like Python for automation. What does a data quality engineer do? A data quality engineer ensures that data is reliable, accurate and fit for business use. They work beyond ETL validation and focus on data completeness, accuracy, consistency, and timeliness. Their responsibilities include defining and validating data quality rules, implementing data quality metrics like accuracy, completeness, consistency, and timeliness, performing data profiling and anomaly detection, automating data quality monitoring. And the common tools data quality engineers use are the data quality tools that are available in the market like Colibra, Informatica, or Talent, and data quality frameworks like Python Great Expectations for automation, and of course, SQL. Here is the summary of key differences. Which one is right for you? If you enjoy testing, debugging, and ETL workflows, ETL testing might be for you. If you love data accuracy, monitoring and governance, becoming a data quality engineer is a great fit. If you're open to both roles, that's absolutely possible as they share transferable skills and a strong quality driven mindset. Finally, both roles are essential in ensuring high quality data pipelines. If you are starting in the data space, Understanding both can help you decide your ideal career path. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more data quality content every Saturday. See you in the next one.